स्वभावचिन्मयानंदम कृपा पूर्णम जगत्पति Mahadeva is saying when some desire comes arises consider it then suddenly unclutch from it he is not telling cherish the desire it's okay no he is saying suddenly unclutch before even the mind starts arguing with you should i unclutch or not suddenly unclutch if you are arguing with the mind you will never unclutch i always tell people don't think before you jump if you think you will never jump <laughs> see in your life if you are thinking you will never jump you will jump only the moment you stop thinking only when you stop thinking you, you will take decision don't think before you jump people always tell think twice before you jump i say no <laughs> if you think you will never jump here mahadeva is telling suddenly unclutch before even your mind becomes aware unclutch you are enlightened there is a beautiful story one lady goes to ramakrishna great master and says master my husband is threatening that he will become a swami he will leave me and go away he will renounce the life and go away Ramakrishna says don't bother never it will happen <laughs> She was very surprised she says no no he is talking very seriously he is not just joking Then Ramakrishna tells a incident like this one guy was threatening his wife that i'll go away i'll become a swami I'll renounce and go away. Actually, this is a technique used by frustrated men in India <laughs> to threaten women. <laughs> Not really, because in India women are not economically independent. So if she nags too much, this is the way this guy will respond. So this guy says, "I'll go away. I'll become a monk, a swami." she goes and complains to his elder brother that guy's elder brother and says your brother is threatening me that he will become a swami please advise him elder brother says don't bother never it will happen <laughs> again she is asking how how you say never it will happen he is very serious he is talking really seriously he says no how a person will become a swami understand now see and just this guy took his cloth and threw it away just took on towel and went away left the house and became a swami the elder brother shows this is the way people will become a swami and he really became swami person who talks will never do person who is thinking 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 will never do person Who is thinking will never jump. Ramakrishna tells this story and tells her, consoles her. Don't bother. Person who threatens will never move. If you are considering, if you are thinking, be very clear. Spirituality is not for you. Better go to some personality development programs. <laughs> That will do more good to you. how to become successful in personality development programs i can give you simple three tips 
talk which you can't practice. Second thing, never give solution. Third thing, always tell, solution is here, just here, just here. Person should not lose the hope, he will not give the solution, he will not get the solution, but never get, give the solution. Of course, when you are not enlightened, you will not have solution. Where is the question of giving? You will not have it. The solution by enlightened beings, even though it takes a little time, it will be authentic. It will be straight. It will be truth. Here, Magadeva is telling, suddenly and clutch from it, disconnect from the desire. See, when you are filled with some desire and you suddenly disconnect, you will experience new inner space, the empty space, the inner space which is ready to experience your own reality. Big problem is, you are ready to unclutch from some desire, but for some other desire, that's all. You are not ready to unclutch completely. You are ready to unclutch if you have the promise that there is something else will come to you. If you are greedy of some other desire, then you unclutch from this desire. I have seen people renouncing for heaven. I always tell them, renouncing for enlightenment is renunciation. Renouncing for some other desires is not renunciation, it is a bargain. Business. It is a business. No. Who knows, suddenly they may say, no stock now up in the heaven. One guy, like this, who thought, if I practice austerity here and announce everything, I may get all best things in the heaven. So he was practicing all kinds of austerity, became a big guru, had many disciples, followers. One day he died, reached the heaven. His disciple who was always with him, he thought, how can I live without my guru? He also died. He also reached the heaven. Now the disciple was searching for the guru. My guru lived such an austere life, he must have got the best rewards. He must be really enjoying with uh, all the beautiful heavenly women, girls and all the drinks in the heaven. He must be really singing and dancing, enjoying this eternal pleasure. See the greed. This guy saw, really the guru was sitting with a pretty girl, maybe famous actress, <laughs> who was famous actress. He was sitting with the girl, drinking and enjoying. This disciple went to the guru and asked, oh master, wow, I am really happy that you are rewarded, your austerity is rewarded, you are enjoying, oh she is the praise, gift for you. She immediately interfered and told, stop, I am not gift or praise for your guru, he is punishment for me. understand <laughs> if you are expecting some heavenly pleasures and renouncing see even in your day to day life if you are meditating thinking that you will have 
more power to enjoy the pleasure you will have better other benefits these that then you are again using meditation as an utility i have seen people the other day i was reading a article better sex through yoga god is the founder of the yoga patanjali reads that he will die because the first lesson he gives is brahmacharya first lesson patanjali teaches before starting the yoga the yama niyama in yama he teaches brahmacharya yoga is reduced to just a physical exercise meditation is reduced just as a stress buster no meditation is not just a stress buster yoga is not just a physical exercise it has got its own sanctity it is something much more than what do you think it is something beyond if you are using yoga just for the physical health the word yoga means uniting union union with the divine with the ultimate enlightenment if you are using yoga just for health using meditation just for a relaxing or removing the mental pressure understand health or mental well being can happen as a side effect or as a by product when you practice yoga or meditation but you are using if you are using only for that we are not using yoga or meditation we are abusing yoga or meditation is not just for physical health or mental health it has got far more effect it is it has got more sanctity the truth when it is used just for one utility for one dimension it is diluted and abused diluted truth is more dangerous than a lie understand at least with a lie you are very clear but the diluted truth is more dangerous i always tell people personality development or a physical health can happen as a side effect when you travel towards the enlightenment but that should not be the goal if that is the goal if you are using the yoga or meditation all these sciences just for that result be very clear you are missing the truth you are missing the true yoga or a true meditation even if it is little demanding even if it is little difficult do not collect the truth from unenlightened sources do not collect from the easy sources i have always seen instant food is not for permanent life anything instant packaging packaged immediate won't have authenticity here mahadeva is giving a straight away very sharp technique very sharp he says suddenly unclutch from it before even your mind realizes in the vedic tradition we have a sanyas called paramahamsa sanyas this is called supreme renunciation this paramahamsa sanyas the procedure for this sanyas is 
anybody who feels that life is beyond what you are seeing through the five senses life is beyond what you are seeing through the five senses like seeing hearing smelling taste and touch the moment you feel life is beyond these five senses you renounce this sensory world and start working towards it you don't look back whether you are married or unmarried you have kids or don't have or you are staying separately married or unmarried or a student or a divorcee staying alone whatever may be the moment you feel renouncing and going towards the inner space suddenly unclutching next question will arise then what will happen to his commitments what will happen to all the things which he needs to fulfill in the society I have never seen a single person getting out after fulfilling all the commitments. You will not be able to fulfill all your commitments even after your death. Even lying inside the graveyard, you will think, "I think I missed two, three things. <laughs> I should have written my will in this way." Never a person finishes his commitments and move towards the reality. when you move towards the reality commitments drop you may think i am teaching something impractical but what to do spirituality is impractical truth in undiluted form is little impractical truth in its pure form is little impractical people think that they can manage both no i have never seen single person managing both it is intense journey which demands your whole being here mahadeva is telling suddenly unclutch before even your mind is aware because the moment your mind becomes aware it will stop you it will stop you the moment you allow the first the moment you listen the first statement of your mind over you have failed because the moment you are ready to listen the first statement mind will be standing there with 130 statements no 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 what about this no 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 what about this no 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 what about that somebody asked me if everybody renounces like this what will happen to the society how the world will run everybody is not so intelligent <laughs> it needs intelligence it needs intelligence all are not so intelligent to take that powerful step 